Hey there, it's CJ Willie, and I'm cracking a pack today. I'm back with pack number two in my 1988 Topps Mini Leaders box. I'm trying to see how many packs I have to crack to get all 77 cards in the complete set. I've included a link to the preview video in the description below, which gives a little explanation on the set and the highlights of what I could pull in cracking these packs. Since each pack has only seven cards, I'll guess which category or categories the player led the league, then I'll flip the card over to see if I was right or how very bad my memory was in the 1987 MLB season. I've also created this really nifty checklist to show what cards I've pulled as I crack each of these packs. I'll mark it off as I go along, show my progress in completing the set. So let's get to cracking the pack. So here's number two. So before we get in and start cracking, let's mark off number two. And here we go. Okay. All right. So let's put the Bring baseball on front and get to cracking. All right, first card in the pack is Frank Viola. So uh, 1987 was the year that the Twins went to the World Series and beat my St. Louis Cardinals. Um, so that was kind of a bummer for me. Um, Frank Viola, I'm gonna say, probably led the league and was a league leader in wins, um, possibly ERA. Um, I'm going to go with those two. So as we turn it over, he wasn't in wins, although he did have 17 wins, but he was second in ERA. So that's pretty cool. All right, so we'll mark off 25. Okay. Tim Wallach, uh, third baseman for a number of seasons with the Expos, eventually moved over to first base and then went to the Dodgers uh, and spent a couple of years with them. Um, he was a little bit of a power hitter, but I don't think he led the league in home runs. Uh, my guess is going to be walks um, and maybe game-winning RBI. So let's check it out. Ooh, okay. So he was first in doubles, so sort of a double machine, and tied for first in game-winning RBI. So I had to remember that game-winning RBI was a stat that was tracked back then. And then uh, second in... RBI, so that's pretty cool. So Tim Wallach, we get him marked off here. Okay, next is Dave Rigetti. Um, I think 1987, if I remember right, was the year that Dave Rigetti set the save record for a lefty, or it may have been most saves in the American League. It's one of the two. So I'm gonna go with, since he's a reliever, saves. So yeah. Type for second with 31 saves. It may have been 1986 that he set the American League record, if I remember right, because he had a record breaker card in the 1987 set. So we'll mark off uh, Dave Rigetti. So far, no duplicates, so that's pretty cool. All right, Tom Hankey. Uh, this one may be as easy as uh, Dave Rigetti as well. Since he was a closer with the Blue Jays, I'm going to go with saves. Um, he may have led the league in saves. So if Rigetti was second, Hanky may have been first. Yep, so he was first in saves with 34. This card's kind of off cut a little bit. Uh, yeah, it's got a lot of order issues. Um, some of the card, a lot of cards in these mini sets, uh, they didn't do the very best job in centering. Um, Viola looks good, Wallach looks good, and then Rigetti starts to slide off a little bit, and then Hanky's, yeah way off to the side. So let's get Tom Hankey marked off here. Next up is Dave Stewart. So uh, with this being the 1988 set, this is the 87 season. So this is the year before um, the A's made a run to the playoffs. I do believe though Dave Stewart in 87, his first year with the A's, had a really great year. Um, so I'm gonna say that he probably led the league in wins and possibly complete games and shutouts as well since he started to feature that fork ball. So, tied first in victories. Um, his ERA was a little high, about 3.68 for the for the year. Um, 
and shutouts, he had one. Probably should have went with complete games since he had nine. So Dave Stewart, first year with the A's and on a roll to um, World Series runs in 88, 89, 90, and then on to the Blue Jays and was part of, I think, their 92 or 93 um, World Series uh, team. So a couple of World Series championships for Dave Stewart. Next is Harold Reynolds. So Harold, Harold Reynolds is a pretty speedy guy. Um, stole a lot of bases. Good defensive infielder. Didn't hit for the highest average. Didn't have much power. Uh, I'm going to go with stolen bases. He was in the top five in stolen bases. Oh, he was number one. So number one in um, stolen bases in 87. And he was tied for five fifth in triples with eight, which is interesting that they didn't list um, that as a league leader uh, as tied for fifth. A lot of the league leader cards, uh, if you were first through fifth, you would get a spot there, um, as I talked about with Ricky Henderson card. So kind of interesting that Harold Reynolds didn't get a, another line showing that he tied for fifth in triples. And we'll mark off Harold Reynolds. Okay. And Dwight Gooden is the final card in the park pack. Uh, Dwight Gooden uh, got a little bit of a bend there on the top of his card. Um, was in the middle of a great run with the Mets. Uh, for me, I'm going to say he was a league leader in run, or sorry, wins, earned run average, possibly complete games, and shutouts as well. He was right in the middle of just a phenomenal streak before he started to go downhill. So ERA, he was fifth. He was tied for fifth with victories. So 87, um, if I remember right, yeah, uh, he only pitched in 29 games. So this is kind of the, a little bit of the beginning of where he started to have some arm problems and didn't quite have as many run, um, game starts as he had in, you know, 85 or 84, 85, and 86. Okay, so thus far, two packs down, no duplicates yet. Um, so that's a pretty good streak. Out of this pack, you know, probably the, the player that I'd spotlight the most um, would be Tim Mollick. Tim Mollick was um, a pretty good player. Uh, spent a number of years, like I said, with the Expos, um, later on with the Dodgers. Um, he had a pretty good reputation of a defensive third baseman. Um, had a little bit of pop. He could hit anywhere between, you know, 15 to about 25 home runs a year. Um, this particular year, he drove in a lot of runs, usually sat in the middle of the lineup for the Expos. Eventually, um, he moved on to the Dodgers, uh, spent a couple of years with the Dodgers. He had a couple of sons that uh, played professional baseball, um, didn't have as much of a career as their dad did. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did like it, please subscribe and share. Also, share with me in the comments what your favorite card or what you thought was the best card in the pack. Until next time when I crack the next pack of 1988 Topps Mini Leaders in my quest to complete the set.